Welcome to the Titus Timeout Podcast. My name is Chris Griffin, and today I'll be discussing radial pattern diffusers versus cross-flow pattern diffusers. Ceiling diffusers can generally be broken down into two main types of discharge patterns. That is, radial pattern and cross-flow pattern. Each has its own characteristics when it comes to throw, mixing, and sometimes aesthetics. Radial pattern diffusers discharge air in a full 360 degree circular pattern with relatively equal airflow in all directions. On round type products, this is easy to see how this would be done, but on some square products, the geometry has to be carefully designed to achieve equal airflow to the corners. This illustration shows the pattern and the increased mixing. Here are several examples of radial pattern diffusers. Notice some are round, some are square. Here is a video showing a radial pattern diffuser. See how there are no discernible jets. The equal airflow gives the benefit of an even distribution of air over the zone. These units utilize a higher mixing of room air with the primary airflow so that the temperature distribution is more even across the occupied space. Resultant throws are typically shorter than other types of diffusers. These diffusers are not typically recommended for heating applications as the warm air typically will stratify and not reach the occupied space. Cross-flow pattern diffusers also discharge air in all directions, but the airflow is concentrated into very distinct jets as shown in this illustration. Here are several examples of cross-flow pattern diffusers. Cross-flow pattern diffusers are typically square. Here is a video of a cross-flow pattern diffuser. See how there is very little airflow with no distinct jets in the corners. These distinct jets have an advantage of higher throws than you would have in a radial pattern diffuser, but they also see lower mixing and increased drop. The longer throws for these products enable them to cover more space, but with a higher temperature gradient. Also, because there is less mixing, at the point that the air gets down to 75 to 100 feet per minute velocity, the temperature is more likely to be low enough such that the buoyancy will cause the jet to separate from the surface, or ceiling, allowing the possibility of an unwanted draft. Cross-flow pattern diffusers, due to the longer throws and decreased mixing, lend themselves very well to working in heating mode as they can deliver the air to the occupied space while retaining more heat. Both the radial pattern and the cross-flow pattern diffusers have their place and either can be used to condition the space but the design must take into account how they condition the space in order to avoid selecting the wrong product for an application. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and thanks for taking a time out with us.